Hi everybody, I'm Rana. Welcome back to the Chef Prasu. Today we are doing parfaits. It's a really easy, tasty thing to do every morning. And while you might see them at cafes often, we don't really think, oh, we can do that too. Because we think, ah, it's effort and we hate effort. But it's really not that much effort. And the way I like to do it is without added sugar. Because if you've ever gone to a cafe, you may have noticed that the parfait's first ingredient is sugar, followed by syrup followed by sugar, and then they put sugar on top of it. There's a lot of sugar. Yeah. All right, in order to make your parfait, you'll need yogurt. It has to be plain yogurt. I don't care if it is regular or Greek or Icelandic. Um, the only real difference between them is that one is strained and one is not strained. But anywho, yogurt, plain nothing added to it. Then you'll want cinnamon. You're gonna need about, yeah, you know, we'll say a teaspoon of cinnamon, and this is a cup, 5.3 ounces, 150 grams. It's it's a yogurt pack. Anywho, uh, you'll need blueberries, and then you'll want almonds, unsalted, and shredded coconut. Uh, you can also add chia seed if you like, uh, but I'm a little low on chia seed today. So, you open your pack, what? then mix it a little so that all of the water is back within it, so we don't want it to be splashy. Now, if you're doing this on the go, I usually do it right on my yogurt pack. I take a disposable spoon, and then I <laughs> I just chuck them in a recycle bin if I find one later on. Um, but it requires virtually no cleanup. And if I'm at home and I'm not doing some kind of presentation on film, then I'll eat it out of the yogurt container. Even the big containers, doesn't matter. Now, if it absolutely is too tart, you can add a little honey. But don't get yogurt that comes with honey already because they either add way too much honey or um, it's honey and sugar together. So, we're trying to reappropriate your sweet tooth. The yogurt will bind really well with the cinnamon. It just comes out really nice, like a batter. It's frozen yogurt, it's going to make a pretty shape. Regular yogurt, it's not going to be as shapely, so don't be too concerned about that. Then, I just like to do one semi-even layer of blueberry. If you feel so inclined, you can put blueberries halfway through as well. Just maximize the blueberry count. I think that's about... 12 blueberries. We're doing this in order of size. So the almonds are the next biggest. It's about a teaspoon of almonds. I like the shredded ones, but you can use whatever you want. Coconut. Coconut has a natural sweetness to it. You could also try pineapple. In the case of pineapple pieces, um, you wouldn't want to add any honey or sugar because pineapple is very sweet on its own. And you're done. I suppose you could put a spoon in it. Now it feels done. I mean, was that easy or what? The best part is the cinnamon gives a great flavor and the textures that you get from the fruit and the nuts and the coconut, they all work together really well. The thing we've totally avoided at all costs is sugar because you just, you, you just don't need it. I'm amazed how many people go to get frozen yogurt and just put on syrup and candy and the gummy bears and with the chocolate chips and the, it defeats the whole purpose. Yogurt is very delicious and nutritious whether or not you want it fresh or frozen. Thanks for watching this Chef Pausu. Tune in next time. We're going to be making baked red peppers. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.